Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now you can see I'm using Macro Sequoia on my MD PC. If you wanted to how to install Macro Sequoia on MD PC, you'll have to watch this video till the end. You can see my macros is working flawlessly with graphics integration. So without getting much more delayed, let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install macros on MD PC. If you are using MD laptop or desktop with MD graphics card or integrated graphics card this video is for you because in this step-by-step -step process you will know how to install macOS on any AMD PC first of all you need to download these files explore plus plus manual partition Olayra Sequoia image and to the post application at final that EFI folder if you want to know how to make an EFI for AMD PC there is a video on my channel you can follow this now you will have to install manual partition and after installing Double tap and repose. Click on yes. Now click on select. Go to download folder. And here click on the tap down. Select all files. Select all of the Sequoia image. Click on open. Now you'll have to insert a pen drive minimum 32 gigabytes to your PC. When the pen drive is inserted, it will detect automatically. Now click on start. But before starting, make sure that every data on your pen drive is backed up because in this process, you will lose every data on your pen drive. Click on start, click on OK. Now you'll have to wait 10 to 15 minutes to complete the bootable process. Now when it is completed, click on close. Now open monitor partition, click on yes. Click on launch application. Now select a USB drive. Now finally select EFI drive. Right click on it. Click on change later. Click on OK. Click on apply, click on yes. Now OK. Close it. Go to download folder again. Now right click on the explore plus plus zip file. Extract all. Extract it. Now open the folder and right click on the file. Run as administrator. Click on yes. Now navigate to your UFI file. Select these two files, right click on them. Click on copy. Now go to this PC and you'll find EFI drive. Open it. Open EFI file. Right click on here. Paste it. Click on replace file destination. When it is done, close it. Go back. Close it. Now right click on start menu. Click on disk management. Now here you'll have to create a new drive with minimum 128 gigabytes of space. Right click on a bigger drive, select shrink volume. After choosing your space, click on shrink. Now you can see 128 gigabytes of storage as unallocated. Right click on the unallocated space, select a new simple volume, click on next, click on next, click on next. Choose the drive name as macOS, click on next, click on finish. Now it's done. Now you'll have to restore your PC and access the BIOS menu of your PC. To access the BIOS menu, you can over this photo, otherwise you can search on Google. In the BIOS menu, set the following parameters. By setting all the changes, click on exit, click on save changes and exit. Click on yes. Now this time you'll have to access the boot menu of your PC. To access the boot menu, you can refer this photo. Otherwise, you can search in Google. Now from the boot menu, select your pen drive here on the N key. Now at the screen, select install macOS Sequoia and hit on the N key. Now in the screen, select disk utility, click on continue. Click on the drop down, select show all devices. Now select macOS drive, which you have created earlier. Now click on Erase. Click on the drop down, select APFS. Click on Erase. Now it's done. Click on Done. Close it. Now select Install macOS Sequoia and click on Continue. Click on Continue. Click on Agree. Again click on Agree. Now select macOS Drive. Click on Continue. Installation process has been started. In this tape, your PC may restart several times. Whenever your PC restarts, you'll have to access the boot menu and boot your PC from the USB drive. This process may take 30 to 45 minutes. 
Now again, access the boot menu. Select Open Drive. Hit on the N key. Now this time you'll see Mac OS Installer. Select it. Hit on the N key. Now here in this process, you will have to wait 15 to 30 minutes. Now again, access the boot menu. Select Open Drive. Hit on the N key. Again, select the Mac OS Installer. Hit on the N key. Again, select Open Drive. Hit on the N key. Now this time you will see Mac OS. Select Mac OS and hit on the N key. Now again, access the boot menu. Select your pen drive. Hit on the N key. Select Mac OS. Hit on the N key. Select your country. Click on continue. Click on continue. Click on not now. Select my computer doesn't connect to internet. Click on continue. Click on continue. Select not now. Click on agree. Again, click on agree. Now set up your computer. Now after setting up your computer, click on continue. Click on continue. Select on to use. Select your time zone. Click on continue. And check this. Click on continue. Select set up later. Choose your theme. Click on continue. Welcome to macOS. Click on continue. Click on quit. Now, open this file, install macOS Sequoia. Select this files folder and drag and drop it to the desktop. Close it. Now open the files. Open open core configurator. Close it. Click on tools. Select mount UFI. This is the USB drive. Click on one petition. Put in Mac password and click on OK. Now you can see it is mounted. Click on open petition. It's opened. Put it here. Again, go here. Now you'll have to mount petition of your hard drive SSD. Click on mount petition. Click on open petition. Now it's here. Now you can close the other files. Now open the UFI folder on your USB drive. Select these two folders. Right click on them. Click on copy. Now go to the UFI folder of hard drive. Open it. Right click on here, paste two items, click on replace. Again, replace. Now it's done. Close it. Close it. Now restore the PC to Windows. Now, if you want to make your macOS and Windows 12 boot, then you will need this command. This command will be given in the description. Just copy from there and click on start. Now search for CMD, run as administrator, click on yes. Now right click on here and it's paste it. Hit on the key. Now you can see successfully done. Close it. Now we study PC and see the magic. Now you can see the magic. Dual screen is here. Thanks for watching.